Alright, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today what I got in store is me opening up and checking out another small little collection of Magic the Gathering cards that I purchased off of eBay. This one cost me a little bit of money, cost me $30, and that included shipping and handling, so $30 shipped to my door. And this is the auction or the lot I had right here. I just sent them an offer of $30. They were asking like 50 or something like that for I don't really remember, but they accepted 30 And it just looked like a whole bunch of cards and a nice little assortment of random foil cards that they pulled to the side. And I just thought it'd be worth to get it and check it out with you all. It did look like one of the foils was like a mythic rare foil, like Child of Alara, which is pretty cool and from an interesting set. Really not sure what else is in here. They didn't really have many too good pictures of it. So just thought it'd be a lot of fun to open it up and check it out with you all. Anyways, this one just cost me $30. And really, uh, treat these things as fun. Never treat them as expecting to make money. Just really treat them as a way to expand your collection, see some cards, and just really enjoy the game Magic the Gathering. So let's just go ahead, open it up, and see what we kind of get inside of it. Just a random vanilla envelope right here. Looks like wrapped in paper. And I'm really not sure what we're going to get in here. But I'm excited to check it out. Some tissue paper right here. Very cool. An older card from Invasions. Very cool. Love the older art. Random tissue paper. Older stuff right here. Very cool. Alright. Not too many cards today. Just a nice little assortment that we're going to go through and just have some fun with it. I'm going to start some piles for uh, common, uncommon, uh, rare, and mythic if we have it. And then foil if we have them as well. And I think we are going to get some foils. So I got myself an island. Beautiful island. I can't remember what set this is. This is like Shards of Alar or something like that. Mark Tenon. Very beautiful spires. Oh cool, one of these level up cards. What is this from? Rise of the Eldrazi. I believe one in a blue. It's a creature human rogue with level up. You pay two in a blue and you can put a pretty much a counter on it. It's like almost a predecessor to a planeswalker or something like that. Hall the Spy Patrol. It'd be cool if they brought back something like this. So uh, from level one, uh, when it first comes to the battlefield, it's a one-one. From level one to two, it's a two-two. And it's unblockable. Level three plus, it is a three-three. And it has Shroud. Alright, cool. Uh, Zoltan Boros and Gabriel Szyski. Beautiful. Suffer the Past. X in a black. Exile X card from target player's graveyard. For each card, exile this way. That player loses one life and you gain a life. Alright. I believe this is Rise of Eldrazi. I could be wrong. Uh, overgrown Battlements. Defender. And it adds green uh, to your mana pool for each piece with Defender you control. Zero four. This is a pretty powerful call, ex card, especially if it's in like a Defender heavy deck. If you got five Defenders on the battlefield, this thing makes five green mana. Super powerful. Very cool. I uh, got a the Siege Runner. It's a goblin. Got a foil skeleton eyes. Four and a red. Instant. Deals three damage to target creature. When a creature dealt damage this way is put to a graveyard this turn, put a 1 1 black skeleton creature token with black to regenerate this creature. So you make it drudge skeletons. Very cool. Nice foil right there. Crossbow infantry. Seventh edition right there. Nice to see some older stuff as well. Uh, tap to deal one damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Okay. Stone range. Wow, cool to see a card from Mirage here. Never know what you're going to get inside of these ones. Uh, one, uh, two in a red. Destroy target land, just stone rain. I don't know if I've ever seen this art for it, though. Stone rain is usually the art of there's that guy with his hand kind of in the air. But Tony Roberts. Set this right there. Got Bramble Creepers from M10. Nice, some Kamigawa stuff. Corge of Numi. Um, Numai. Three in a black. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose two life if you don't control an ogre. It's a 4-4. Four, four. That's a for for four mana. Okay. We got three tragedies. Three and two black. Target player discards three cards. Ouch. Uh, Genju of the Fens. Uh, one black. Enchant Swamp. And then you pay two. Until I'm turn, it becomes a 2-2 two, two black spirit creature token. You can pump it up for one. When Enchant Swamp is put into a graveyard, you return this from a graveyard your hand. Okay. Interesting. Nice card from Torment. Mortophobia. Uh, one and two black. Enchantment, one in a black, discard a card from your hand, remove target card and grave from the game. One in a black, sacrifice, remove target card and grave from the game. So some graveyard hate by Christopher Moyer. Interesting art. Hanging out in the swamps or something like that. Cool green background. Some Fifth Dawn stuff, I believe, or uh, Dark Steel. I mean, four generic. It's an artifact creature golem. And you can pay two repeatedly to untap target artifact creature. Very cool. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Very cool. Voltaic key kind of reminds me of that. Death. Masked Duplicant, 7 mana, it's got Imprint, 
pay one, remove target card and grave from the game. You imprint it. Wow, as long as imprint creature has flying. Okay, so if you imprint a card with like first strike, it has first strike. Interesting. It's a five five creature. What is this? Some um, World Wake land or Zendikar? Just some basic lands. Got Taju Archer. Ooh. Uh, two and a green. Um, another ally enters the battlefield under control. You may have it deal damage to target creature with flying. Each of the number of allies you control. It's so one, two. That can just take down flying. So this is an ally deck. Very cool. Nice little uncommon. Got overrun. Creatures you control get plus three, plus three. And trample until end of turn. Makes you think of the movie Jumanji when all the animals are running around. Got Shrocker Banisher. Creature Shrek. I'm not really sure. Four and a blue. And when it enters the battlefield, return target, tap creature to his owner's hand. So 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Spawning breath. Crazy looking fire spewing from the mouth. One in a red. One damage to target creature player. Put a 0-1 Eldrazi uh, spawn creature token under the battlefield. Has sacrifice. Add one miniature mana pool. Mystery of the Deep. Got Vastwood Zendikon. Enchant land. You enchant the land. It's a 6-4 green elemental creature. Okay, so you know, very cool. Got Lightning Bolt. Oh, wow. M10. I didn't know Lightning Bolt was an M10. Great common. Super iconic. One red mana. Deals three damage to target creature player. Very cool. I like that. I'll set this actually up there. Great common. You got Summit Apes. Three and a green. As long as you control a mountain, Summit Apes can't be blocked except by two more creatures. So it's kind of like Kurt Apes' cousin. It's a 5 2. Very cool. Nice uncommon. You got Sigil Captain. One, a green, and two white. Whenever a creature comes into play under control. If that creature is a 1-1, one, one, put two counters on it. Okay, interesting. So if you have like a, a deck that makes a bunch of 1-1s, one, they pretty much become in, th in the play as 3-3s. Three cool art, too. By Howard Lyon. Got uh, Demon Spine Whip. Literally the spine of the demon. Uh, black and a red. X. Equip creature gets plus X plus 0 to turn. Equip 1. Okay. Pump it up. Demonic Dread. Creepy. Got Cascade. Interesting ability. Numai Outcast, 3 and a black. It's got Bushido 2, love that ability. A black, pay 5 life to regenerate it. It's a 1-1 one, one with Bushido 2. Hmm. That's like super strange. 4 mana for a 1-1. One, one. You pay black, pay 5 life, regenerate it. And it has Bushido 2. I don't understand this card. This doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Where's the super value from it? It's a 4 mana 1 1. That's when it's blocked. It becomes a 3 3. And you can generate by paying black and 5 life. That seems pretty bad. Beautiful swamp. Crazy looking moon. It's peeking the light through there. Crusher Zendikon. Got Jaw Jag Wasp Swarm. Creature Flying Insect. It's a flying 3 2 for 3 and a black. Creepy. Zolf Shade. The shades always have some ability that you can pump it up with black mana. Got the Guilt Heart Beast. Seagate Oracle, Beast Stalker, Abala Jed, one in a green. Uh, comes in the battlefield as a 2 2, and you can level up for two in a green. Uh, one to three to four four. Four plus, it's a six six. Very cool. So that's cool. It's a creature you can get on the battlefield early, and if you don't have anything to play from your hands, you can just keep leveling it up, making it a bigger, bigger creature. A bigger kind of threat by Karl Kapinski. Very cool. Fun cards. Explosive Revelation, three and two red. Hmm. Got it. Hank Young. One mana, artifact equipment, equipped creature has tap, put an aim counter on it, remove all aim counters from it, this creature deals damage to target creature player, you get the number of aim counters on it. It's 4-4 four, four that you can kind of build it up exponentially over turns and use it. A beautiful fireball from 10th edition. A forest. Beautiful forest, love the glint coming through there. A comb battle singer. Nest invaders, Eldrazi drone, back when Eldrazi's were a thing kind of still are cabal interrogator i know this one this is from nemesis i believe no scourge it's a one one for one in a black pay x in a black target player reviews x card from his or hands and choose one of them that player discards a card plays billy only any time he plays sorcery very good can help remove cards from their hands he's holding up his arms and using them to like see wall of blood pay life it's plus one plus one till end of turn very cool i like how you can pay a life to make it stronger tail end troop it's flying 2-3 creature. Flying Owl. Beautiful. Joint of Ranks. Uh, smoldering Spires. When it enters the battlefield, a target creature can't block this turn. Okay. Nice little non-basic land there. The Island. Got Tuk Tuk Grunts. Got Loam Line. 
one mana for a 1-1. One, one. Lone Lion gets plus one, plus two as long as you control four. So it's like Curdate, Mitch, Savannah Lion, sort of. Very cool. Got Whale of the Nim. Twisted Abomination. I remember this one. You can pay black to regenerate it. Vengeful Dead. When a Vengeful Dead or another zombie is put into a graveyard, each opponent loses one life. Very cool. Got Whip Quarter. This is from uh, Onslaught. Two white mana. It's a 2 2. You pay white and tap. Tap target creature. You can play it for morph. Ron Spencer. Beautiful art. Definitely drew that. Yep. <laughs> Torment Strength of a Lunacy. One and a black. Enchant creature. It's plus one and is protected from white. It has a madness cost. I think this is Torment is a set where madness became a thing. Cool ability. Regan Tilt Hildebrandt. Love the purple and orange background. He's got like an aura around him. I'm not sure what he's running from. Like an explosion. What's this in the ground? A fuse? Crazy looking demonic run. What is this on? Um, time Spiral? Fool's Demise. Four and a blue enchant creature. Enchant creature is put into a graveyard. Uh, return to under creature to play under control. When it's put into a graveyard from play, return Fool's Demise to his owner's hand. Very cool. So you can put this on a creature and the creature dies. That creature comes into play under control. And when this puts in your graveyard, it goes back to your hand. Very cool. Again by Zolto, Zoltan Boros and Gabriel Suzinski. Very cool art. Really cool amount of cards in the set. Kind of coming from all across the span of Magic the Gathering. Well, not really all across, but a bunch of older sets. I really like that. I uh, got the sensor. Not really sure. Crazy looking thing. Nurok Replicator. Last Kiss. Deals two damage to target creature and you gain two life for two and a black. Feral Contest. <laughs> got a Black Cleave Goblin. Anar Narlin. Minomic Wall, 4 and a blue, it's a 0 4. Defender, when it enters the battlefield, return target instant or sorcery card from grave with your hand. Very cool and nice ability when it enters the battlefield. Got Cadaver Imp. Creepy looking art, it's like zombie imps. Got Lava Fume Invoker, Goblin Shaman. You pay 8 creatures and go get plus 3 plus 0 until end of turn. Be cool for game trample. Another Minomic Wall. Snake Umbra. A Mackerel's Hatchler, Hatcher. Reinforce Bulwark. Three mana, it's Defender. Zero four. You tap. Uh, prevent the next one damage will be dealt to you this turn. Okay, so you can kind of stop some damage a little bit. Interesting, a lot of cards with Defender. Skywatch Adept. A one drop that can become a four two if you keep leveling up. And I like how it's level up cost doesn't have a color in it. So any man of any color. Very cool. Thomas uh, Jitsker. And it, it has flying too. It can be a four two with flying. Very cool. What is a squeaking pie grub fellows? Such a flavorful, weird card. He's like hunting for grubs, and look at his face. His lips got melted off. He's got all sorts of stuff on him. Interesting guy in the background. Crazy art. Crazy art by Jim Pavlik. Crazy card. Praise vengeance. Whoa, look at that. This flame creature is fighting this small little lizard guy. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until I turn and rebound for one green. Ogre Sentry. Wall of Omens, it's a 1 and a white, it's a 0 4. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card. Very cool. So there's a defender with some card draw. Pretty pretty good value. 2 mana for a creature and a card draw. Got Loam Dagger Giant, 4 in any combination of 3 or uh, red or green. It's a 7 6. First set, uh, yeah, 7. <laughs> some Plane Ships cards. Beautiful art by Heather Hudson. It's a 2 1 insect. Uh, for one and a green, red spells and white spells you play cost one less to play. Very cool, and you definitely want to have it in a red and white deck because it helps those spells come into the action. Look at that beetle. It's like a Hercules beetle. Got Tetramon Duo, two any combination of red or green. So two, three, Goblin Warrior Shaman, hanging out in the swamps. When you play red spell, gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. When you play green spell, gains force walk till end of turn. Cool. Giant Growth, classic card, one green. Give a creature plus three, plus three. Got a Grape Health Hunter. Act of Treason. This actually got reprinted in like M19 or something. This is all the way from M10. And M10 is different from 10th edition. This is 10th edition, M10. Very interesting. Got Earth Elemental. It's a 4 5 for 3 and 2 red. And about Bodyguard. Green Weaver Druid. Taps to add 2 green to your mana pool. It's a 1 1 for 2 and a green. Elf Druid. She almost looks like one of the skulls that she's around. By Justin Sweet. Got Fertile Ground, one in a green. Uh, this is a classic card. Enchant Land, whatever Enchant Land is tapped for mana, this controller adds one mana of any color to his or mana pool. So, add some extra value for your lands. Stomper Cub, 
Tiny little beast. It should be a bear almost. It's 5 3 with trample for 5 mana. Beautiful forest. Highland Berserker with his double axe. A comb battle singer. I got myself the first rare of this collection. Even uh, Minomancer. One, a white, and a blue. Flying at the beginning of your upkeep. You may hit, put a feather counter on target creature. If you do, that creature is a 3 1. It has flying as long as the feather counter is on it. It's a 3 1 that can pretty much copies of itself. So as it's flying, feathers fall out. And it can create other ones. A Jesper Eastling. Very cool. Kind of like that. Another Akum Battle Slinger. Hammer of Rune. Two mana. A creep creature gets plus two plus zero. Whenever a creep creature does come damage to your player, you may destroy target enchantment that player controls. Two, two. Uh, equipped for two. That can um help remove some threats on the board. I'm just kind of go at it. Got Naya Hushblade. Interesting uh, mana. It's a red or white and a green. As I can control another multicolor permanent, it's plus one plus one. It can become a three two. Um, Ravnica Thought Picker Witch, one black. Got uh, another rare Mirror Reservoir. And this was for great for making mirrors or mirror decks. Three mana. It's an artifact. Add two mana to your mana pool. Spend this to cast only mirror spells or activate mirror abilities. Be cool if they brought back mirrors. Three tap. Return target mirror card from grave at your hand. Super value for this. Super value. Any mirror decks, put that in it. Another Skywatcher Adept. Melt Terrain. Destroy target land. Does two damage to that land's controller. Locks it on Wayfair. A beautiful Zendikar or World Wakes Full Art Swamp. Here for purple background by Jung Park. Morden Besiege, I think. Three and two greens. Got Reach. Enters the bath for destroy equipment. It's a 3 5. Got Barbed Battle Gear. Look at the crazy vibrant colors in that. Equipped creature gets plus four, negative one. Equipped is two and three to put out there. Okay. Copper Horn Scout. A wild Heart Invoker. Got Smite. Destroy target blocked creature. Instant for one white. Destroy a creature. Come on. Pretty good. Spider Umbra. Olamogs. Crusher. These big old creatures. These huge old Drazis. Got Annihilator 2. When this creature attacks, defending player sacrifices two permanent. Even lands. When atta it attacks each turn if able. It's an 8-8 eight, eight for 8 mana with Annihilator. Come on. That's pretty crazy. I'm going to set this up in the cool pile. <laughs> Don Glare Invoker. Growth Spasm. Two in a green. Search your library for a basic land card. Put in the battlefield tap. Then shuffle your library. And then you create an Eldrazi spawn creature token. Okay. Cool art. It's like a shield of vines. Protecting him from the purple aura. Distortion Strike. Grappler Spider with Reach. Spiders usually have Reach. Tuck Tuck Scrappers. Three in a red. It's a 2 2. On uh, Ally Inches Battlefield Control. Destroy target artifact. And uh, deals damage. To that controller for the number of allies you have. Wow, oh, powerful. Feral Contest. Uh, Venerated Teacher. Demystify. Destroy Target Enchantment. Beautiful rainbow colors right there. Fantastic. Juggernaut. This is a. I think this originally came out in Alpha. Four mana for five three. Taxi's turn of able cannot be blocked by walls. It's so strong and so big it'll just crush the walls. Got a sure strike trident two mana equipped creature has first strike and has tap untached trident. Uh, this creature deals damage equal to its power to target player, so it pretty much throws the trident. It's equipped cost for four. Very cool. Makes me think of the card fling or something. Velican dismisser, crystallization, beautiful art. Right, look at that. This poor zombie ghoul is getting crystallized by this either ice or crystals. Any combination of green or blue and white enchant creature. Enchant creature can't attack or block. When a chant creature becomes target of spell or ability, remove that creature from the game. Powerful. Oh, nice. Got myself a mythic. Got Kragen Dragonlord. Two mana. And you can level up for one red. It's a 2-2. Two, two. And you can only level up as a sorcery. Level 4 to 7. It's a 4-4 four, four with flying. Level 8 plus. It has flying trample. And you can pump it up. You become an 8-8 eight, eight with flying. That's powerful. And you can get this on the battlefield on turn 2. Wow. Powerful stuff right there. It's like almost like predecessor to Planeswalker. It's almost like a Planeswalker type card. Reinforced Burwalk again. Goblin Arsonist. I like this one. It's a one mana Goblin Shaman. That's 1-1. One, one. When it's put into the graveyard from the battlefield, have it deal one damage to target creature player. Almost double value. Dread Drone. See beyond. He's peeking through a little crack in the door. Seeing things he needs to see. One in a blue. Draw two cards. And shuffle a card from your hand into your library. Cool. Two card draws. Hand the Mackerel. Emrakul. 9 mana for a 7-7. Seven, seven. You may sacrifice 4 Eldrazi spawn rather than paying Hand of a Mackerel's mana cost. These giant guys in Annihilator 1. So when he attacks, 
Defending player has to sacrifice one permanent. Powerful stuff. And that's a common. Uh, Grey Pelt Hunter. Trigon of Corruption, four mana. Uh, enters a battlefield with three counters on it. Two black, tap, put a charge counter on it. Two, tap, uh, remove charge counter, put a negative one, negative one counter, and target creature. Okay. Beautiful Plains. Living Destiny. Glory Seeker. Uh, McKindy Griffin. Looks like I got myself another um, Mythic. Uh, Abyssal Prosecutor. Two and two black. It's a creature demon flying in trample. It's a 6-6. Six, six. You can't win the game and your opponent can't lose the game. Powerful. That's a super powerful card. What can you do with that? Somehow, I mean, it's a 6-6 six, six with flying and trample for four mana. But you can't win and your opponent can't lose. That's powerful text right there. I'm not sure how you can really make a work away around that. But wow. By Chippy. Powerful stuff. Skywatcher Adept. Almost got a place out of those ones. Wild Heart Invoker. Soul's Attendant. Beautiful, uh, heavenly look on her. Might of the Masses. Induced Despair. Looks like these tentacles are coming right for this poor woman. Two and a black. Additional cost to cast it. Reveal a creature card from your hand. Target creature gets negative X, negative return. Where X is a real creature's converted mana cost. So pretty much reveal this card and have it get negative nine, negative nine. <laughs> La L Logic Lizard. It's a 3-3 three, three lizard for three and a red. Got a goofy look to him. Puff the Magic Dragon. Swell Sworn Brute. Sell Sworn Brute. If it's put into your graveyard from play, it deals two damage to you. It's a 2-2 two, two for one and a red. Why would you want that? That's not that good. <laughs> Surge of Zeal. One red instant target creature. And each other creature that shares a color with it gain haste till end of turn. That's powerful. You can pretty much make most of your creatures gain haste if it's a single color deck. Or all of them. Seagate Oracle. Machino Slasher. Very colorful aura here by Glenn. Fabry, it's a 1-2, and you can pump it up, but you can only do it a couple times because it also gives it plus 1, negative 1. But look at the art on that. Crazy. Love the blue background. Crazy, like, just, like, uh, what is it, scales on them. Got a nose piercing as well. Got a Stellwart Shield Bearers. Got Surreal uh, Memories. Three and a red. It looks like he's holding an eyeball right there. Return an instant card at random from Grave to your hand and rebound. If you cast a spell from your hand, it exiles it resolves. At the beginning of your next upkeep, you may cast a card from exile without paying its mana cost. So you pretty much return two instants uh, at random from a grave to your hand. It's at random, but still pretty cool by Jamie Jeps. Not so many red cards, I think, that can return cards like that from your hand. Very cool. Distortion Strike. Bull Rush. Summit Apes again. Looks like I got another rare. A Kazoo Warlord. Four and a red. It's a Minotaur. Warrior Alley, ally. Uh, when uh, that or another ally enters the battlefield under your control, may put a one-one counter on each ally creature you control. It's a three-three that really helps other allies. So you could just be pumping up your whole board by casting small little ally creatures. Kev Walker, giant Minotaur guy running down the mountains. The big old battle axe, crazy. Got a great pelt hunter. Beautiful mountain. Look at that crazy, like vortex. Evolving Wilds. Wow, an old version of it. Um, there we go. And Goblin Tunneler and Stomper Cup. On to the next little bit. I got a Night Haze, one black. Target Hoosier gains Swamp Hawk until end of turn and, disc and draw a card. Looks like I got myself another rare. Necrotic Ooze, two and two black. As long as Necrotic Ooze is on the battlefield, it has. Activated abilities of all creature cards in all graveyards. 4-3. That's powerful. If your opponent has a creature with Vigilance, uh, Trample, Annihilator in the ba in their graveyard, this has a 2. So if you have an Eldrazi with Annihilator 1 in your graveyard, this thing has Annihilator 1. Wow. You really want to fill up your graveyard. That's powerful stuff right here by Jamie Ryman. Creepy art. Looks like there's a skull inside of their body. Interesting. Makes you think of Terminator or something. Got... The lizard guy again. Got regress. Vectus Ec Ag agents. Like the multicolor border. Three, a blue and a black. And you pay blue and black. It's negative two, negative zero until end of turn. It's unblockable to storm. It's a four, three that can swing for two each turn if you'd like. Uh, cool. Got a future side card. Velkinen 
Aether Mage, I like how the E, the A and the E are kind of combined. It's got Flash, very cool. It's a 1 2 creature. The mana cost is over here for 1 and a blue. When it comes into play, return target Sliver to its owner's hands. Wow. And Wizard Cycling. What? I didn't know there was a card that returned a specific Sliver to its owner's hands. Super specific, though. Very powerful. I'm going to actually set this right there just because it looks really cool. Scar Scale Ritual. <laughs> got Nimbus of the Urn. Beautiful uncommon. Tuk Tuk Grunts. Hammer of Ruin. Equip creature deals common damage to player. You may destroy target equipment that player controls. Very cool. Got Drudge Revelers. It's got Flash. It's a 2 1 and Regeneration. 4 mana. You can pretty much use it as a removal spell a little bit. If it's a small enough creature, you can flash it on the battlefield block with it. Greg Staples. Cool Skeleton Warrior battle going on in the background. Just look at that. Fountain of Youth. Some 5th edition right there. Zero cost artifact for 2. Tap, gain a life. You can constantly gain life if you got nothing else to do. Very cool. Nice to see that. I like zero cost artifacts. I'm going to set this right there. Got uh, Brood Birthing. Hemlar Wave Watcher. Beautiful art. This Mirfolk Warrior is just hanging out there. Look at that giant lizard or turtle head right there. One in the blue. It's a zero three when it comes into the battlefield. One to four. It's a zero six. Level five plus. It's a six six. So it's a zero three, zero six, six six. Huge steps by Matt Stellwall. And you can level up for two of any color. Very cool like that. I love these leveling up creatures. Very fun, very cool ability. One and a white level up for four. It's a one, two, become a two, six, and then become a three, ten with vigilance. Hmm. Kabiti Kotayaki. Cool. Got a couple of those. Got Death Forge Shaman. Look at that guy. Multi kicker. When it enters the battlefield, deals damage to target player. Equal to twice the number of times it was kicked. It's four, three. If you kick it twice, it, becomes, it deals four damage. Four in the red, plus whatever you want to kick it with. Got Leatherback Beloth. Got uh, Dread uh, Statuary. One mana, add one mana, four. Becomes a 4-2 Golem Artifact creature until end of turn. Still land. These are always cool, these multi-lands. Jason A. Ingle. He turns into the Iron Giant. The Lizard again. Living Destiny. Three in a green. It's additional cast it. Uh, real creature from your hand. Gain life equal to that creature's word of mana cost. Powerful. Beautiful Mountain. Nice. Amulet of Vigor. This is a really great card right here. One mana. It's an artifact. Whenever a permanent enters the battlefield tapped under your control, untap it. So any land that says enters the battlefield tapped, it gets untapped. So pretty much any like non-basic land or any creature that says enters the battlefield tapped just enters in untapped. Super powerful card right here. Really great from World Wake by Warren maybe. Cool little amulet. Great card. Wow. Nice to see that in there. Beautiful swamp. A little bit of the glowing there. Almost looks like it's on fire. A little bit of smoke. Another lizard, uh, corrupted Zendikon. There's something actually nasty on that card. That one will go in the not keep pile. Claw of Velcut, Caustic Crawler. It's got landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield under control, you may have target creature get negative one, negative one till end of turn. It's a four three, very cool. And land usually happens each turn. Canopy cover. Oh, nice. This is a great card as well. Stone Force, a Stone Forge Mystic. One and a white. It's a one two. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an equipment card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. One in a white tap, you may put equipment card from your hand onto the battlefield. Super great. You can tutor up for any equipment from your deck, and then you can also put it on the battlefield for only two mana. That's powerful stuff. Great card right here. I think this was banned for quite a while. I don't know if it's still unbanned or what the deal with that is. But very cool. Nice to see that in here. Got Highland Berserker. Beautiful island. Bajuka uh, Breakstand. Kite Cell Apprentice, Razor Hippogriff. Hippogriffs are cool. Uh, three and two white flying. When it enters the battlefield, return target artifact uh, from a grave to your hand. You gain life equal to the cards converted mana cost. It's a three three, but you can get some uh, benefit from getting an artifact back. And I got Dark Steel Sentinel. Six mana, flash and vigilance, and it's indestructible. It's a three three for six mana though. It's kind of expensive, but it's indestructible. Very cool. And um, we got two piles left. Let's just kind of go through them and have some fun. Uh, got Morning, one in a black. Cool art from Invasion, I believe. Love the art by Tressie Nielsen. Super realistic. Almost looks like pirates or something. Is that Urza? I think that's the original Urza. Got Coalition Honor Guard, three in a white. Uh, if an opponent plays a spell or ability, target a flag bearer and play. Uh, that player chooses at least one flag bearer as a target. I love flag bearer cards, they're pretty powerful. So if someone has a lightning bolt and you have this on the battlefield, 
they have to use it against this. So they're kind of, they kind of take the fall. They're like a scapegoat almost. Got Thunder Totem. Look at this crazy guy. Add one white tier mana pool. One and two white. Becomes a 2-2 two, two white spirit artifact creature with flying first strike till end of turn by Randy Galagos. Three mana. Look at this crazy mirror folk looking guy. Got Forced and Totem. Add red tier mana pool. Four and a red. Becomes a 4-4 four, four red giant artifact creature with trample until end of turn. As long as this creature can block an additional creature. So it has like, it can block two. Look at that crazy two-headed thing. Three mana. Very cool. Dega Disciple. The common somehow is getting pretty big. Snapping Creeper. Landfall. Goblin uh, Gavalier. Necrotic Sensor. Despair. Return target non land permanent to its owner's hand. Got Distraction. Exploding Borders. Two, a red and a green. It's got Domain. Search your library for a basic land. Put the card in the plate. Tap. Self your library. Exploding Burden. Uh, borders just X damage to target player or X is the number of basic land types among lands you control. So it's uh, it helps you get an extra land and deal some damage if you have a bunch of multi if you have multiple lands. You got green, uh, red, I guess white is the air and black is the background a little maybe. Got Vastwood Animist two and a green, uh, Elf Shaman Ally it's a one one. Tap target land you control becomes an XX elemental creature until end of turn, but X is the number of allies you control. A lot of ally heavy uh, in this uh, World Wake set. Very cool. But if you have a bunch of allies, you can make any of your lands some big old creatures. Beautiful Mound from 10th. Got Krakapuka. Puka. Any combination of 3 blue or 3 red. And switches power and toughness to end of turn. It's a 2 4 that become a 4 2 if you pay that. Very cool. I like these multicolored cards as well. Fun stuff. Wow, some. Um, uh, Colt Snap, one and a green. Whenever a bull archos attacks, he has plus one, plus one. Uh, to enter for each other attacking archos. There's other archos as well. It's a two one, and I think the original ones are from uh, Ice Age. Oh, wow, Martyr of Ashes. Yeah, Martyr of Bones, breathing out that coldness. Got Lava Zombie, Planet Shifted, or, or I believe one uh, black and a red. He's made out of lava, and look at this little guy in the background. When it comes into play. Return. Black or red creature controls its owner's hand, so pretty much the goblin is getting returned to its owner's hands. And you can pay two, give it plus one, plus zero to land turns, four, three by Tom Wanderson. Very cool stuff. Got Hand of E. Mackerel again. Hanging out with his other friend. Uh, raid Bombardment. I'm gonna flip this around a little bit. Got a swamp. Contagious Nim. Beautiful card. It's got Infect. It's a 2 2 for two in the black by Ephraim Pelsios. Love it. Love the green to the red background. Makes me think of some crazy alien right there. Wow. Goblin Taskmaster. Uh, Awakener Druid. Got Grapple Spider. Beautiful forest. Look at this. Colors. Fantastic. Maybe it's in the movie Avatar by Veronica and um, Minganad. Got Lava Axe. Classic card. Beautiful forest on the top of this kind of obelisk. Definitely from Zenikar World Rake. Walking Atlas. Look at this. It's like a frog guy. Too generic. Tap. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. It's Construct. 1-1. One, one. That's powerful. Put a land on the battlefield. Extra land. Grasp of Darkness. 2 mana. Target creature gets negative 4, negative 4 till end of turn. Instant speed. 4 angels been taken down. Joan Bowden. Bonds of Quicksilver. Uh, Volshock Replicator. Beautiful oranges in the background. 3 mana. Artifact Berserker. It's a 3-1. Pay 1 and a red. Deals three damage to target player. Ouch. Canopy spider got reach. Most spiders have reach in this game. A one reef survivalist. Another nim. Got glimmer post. Enters the battlefield. Gain a life for each locust on the battlefield. This is a locust. Uh, add one tier mana pool. Okay. Nice little non basic land. Got mirror smith. One and a white. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, pay one. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one colors mirror artifact creature token on the battlefield. It's a 2-1 that can keep pumping out these tiny little creatures. This beautiful lady is just making these artifact mirrors by Eric Dishkamps. Very nice. What is a spell? Uh, contortion, 2 and a blue. Multi-kicker for 1 and a blue. Contra-target spell. This controller plays 2. Draw a card for each time the spell uh, contortion was kicked. Okay, so you can give some card draw and some counter spell. Older one right here, Sungrass Egg, one mana, two tap, uh, sacrifice it, add green and white to your mana pool, draw a card. Very cool. So some mana and draw a card, beautiful flower with an egg in the middle of it by David Martin. Nice. Fleeting Distraction, Time Ebb. Interesting. This is from Tempest, two and a blue. 
Put target car creature on top of its owner's library. Gone today, here tomorrow by Thomas M. Baxa. <laughs> Some Urzas right here. Adam Academy researchers, one and two blue. When it comes into play, you may choose an enchant creature card in your hand and put that enchantment into play on Academy researchers. This is two, two. When it comes into play, put an enchantment on it by Stephen Daniel. Very cool. Um, put this here. Got Knight of the Mist, the flanking from Visions, 2-2. Two, two. When it comes into play, pay blue a barrier. Ouch. Got War Torch Goblins, Spawning Breath. Got the last half of this pile right here. And then one more little pile left. Got Dross Hopper. Got Brimstone Mage, 2 and a red. Level up, comes in as a 2-2, two, two, and it can become a 2-4 at the very end, and have tap to deal 3 damage to target creature player, so it can become almost a lightning bolt, throwing the lightning. Vulcan Raga, is this a rare? This is a rare. Uh, World at War, 3 and 2 red. Sorcery, after the first pre-combat main phase this turn, there's additional combat phase, followed by additional main phase at the beginning of the combat. Untap all creatures that attack this turn and rebound. Oh wow, so it kind of... Can pretty much attack again, having almost another turn almost by Igor. Great for just kind of drag damage for creature. Very cool, powerful stuff. Nice rare. Goblin Spelunkers. Spiraling Collar. Creature has first strike. Two red, even though there's no color in it. Uh, attach it to a creature you control. And one one. And one to put out there. Okay. Fifth Dawn got Gloom Widow. Can't block creatures without flying. It's a 3 3 that needs to block flyers. Got a beautiful mountain. Got the Survivalist, Elvish Berserker, Hedron Rover, Akum Battlesinger, a Forest, Double Negative, two blue and a red, counter up to two target spells. Looks like another rare, two and two red, Wild Ricochet, instant, you may choose a new target for target instant or sorcery spell, then copy that spell, you may choose new target for the copy. Very cool. I like that. So, uh, pretty much double a spell. Even if it's not yours, if your opponent casts a lightning bolt on you, choose a new target for the lightning bolt and copy it again. Deal six damage to them. Very cool. Nice. A temporal expanse, pretty much uh, like uh, wild uh, evolving wilds. Jawbone Sulkin, one man. Look at this guy. His hands are like uh, skulls, and he's trying to fight this beetle. It's a scarecrow, um, and his head is a nut. Two target red creature gains haste till end of turn. It's a one one. Strange. Beautiful island. Look at those hedrons aligned there. Sone Eye Drake. He's weeping fire of volcanoes. Two, any combination of blue, red, and a black. It's flying hates at 3 1 and zombie Drake. Very cool. Putrid Leech. Gnarled Pack. Aura Finesse. Beautiful mountain. Look at these kind of uh, alley outposts right there. Stonework Puma. Survival Catch. Two and a white. Gain two life. And if you have more life than opponent, draw a card and rebound. Akuma Boulderfoot. 4 and 2 red. It's a 4 5. When it enters the battlefield, deals 1 damage to target creature or player. Deathless Angel. There we go. 4 and 2 white creature angel. It's a 5 7 with flying. And you pay 2 white target creatures indestructible this turn. Pretty powerful. You can make a bunch of creatures indestructible. Look at this lady. She's got 6 wings. Beautiful. By Jonah Bowden. Nice little rare. Beast Hunter. Love it. Makes you think of Jurassic Park. He's just hanging out behind the bush with his friend, hiding from all these dinosaurs. Three and a green. Sorcery. Reveal the top three cards of your library. Put all creature cards reveal this way into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. Another beautiful lightning bolt. I'll set this aside right there. A giant growth. Beautiful mountain. Got Pit Imp. Phil Fogila. Look at him. He's got like eyes on both sides of the head. Almost mirrored. One black flying to zero one. You can pay uh, one black to give it plus one plus zero. You cannot spend more than two each turn, this year, so you can only make it a 2 1 with flying. Tempest, Lone Missionary, Sphinx of the Magosai, 3 and 2 blue, flying, 2 and a blue, draw a card, then put a 1 1 counter on it. It's a 6 6 with flying, then you can use some card draw by James Raymond. Look at that, very chimeric looking body. A beautiful forest, an ooze token, I'll set that aside. A uh, Kiln Fiend, Repel the Darkness. Spike Colony, would you look at that? Uh, stronghold card, 4 and a green. Spike Colony comes into play with 4 1 counters on it. Remove a 1 1 counter on Spike Colony, put a 1 1 counter target creature by Douglas Schulter. <laughs> beautiful Full Art Mountain, beautiful forests. Great Pelt Hunter again, a couple of those. Got the Riders, 
Another mountain. Another mountain. Night haze. Shrivel. All creatures get negative one, negative one till end of turn. Mountain. Vendetta. Destroy target non black creature. It can't be regenerated. You lose life equal to that creature's toughness. Instant speed, one black. Destroy target non black creature. A flower is coming out of his chest, left behind by this murderous culprit in the background. By Carl Kopinski. Cool art. Ancient strings. Stringings. Another lizard guy. Neutralize. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Destroy the sword of Hedron. Bloodthroat. Bloodthroat vampire. Eland Umbra. Cool. There's like a gazelle. Or something that this lady's inside of a chant creature gets plus zero plus four in total armor. If a chanted creature would be destroyed, instead of remove all damage from it and destroy this aura. So the aura protects it. Nice. Beautiful mountain. Mountain. And a forest. And onto like the last little pile. Got a essence feed. Nest invaders. Goblin arsonist. Balajed scorpion. When it enters the battlefield, destroy target creature with power one or less. So two. Three, but he can only kill little guys. Demystify, beautiful artist again. Neem, uh, slit, t t what is that? Slit, lurker. Vendor, teacher. Pen and blade, three mana. Artifact equipment, equip creature. Gets plus one, plus one for each creature you control. Okay, 40 equipped. Uh, got a life strider, four and a green. Enters the battlefield. You may tap any number of untapped creature you control. Gain two life for each creature tap. That's why it's a two eight that can help you gain lots of life. Nice, cool. I got a Gruel Draz Assassin, one mana, that we can, be, at the end, become a 4-4 four, four with black tap. Target creature gets negative 4, negative 4 till end of turn. One in the black to level up, and uh, when it's 2 to 3, you can give it negative 2, negative 2 till end of turn. Powerful stuff right here. You can drop it on turn 1 at the end of it. It can be a pretty annoying little 4-4 four, four that can do a lot of negative, uh, I guess, counters on a creature. Not counters, but cool. Unified Will. One in a blue contra target spell for control more creatures than that spell's controller. Instant speed. Beautiful art. Looks like the lava is turning into bubbles. The powerful wizard is turning the goblins while lava into bubbles. Beautiful. Got Nickerkin Cutthroat 2 and a black. Level it up. It's a 3 2 that became a 5 4 with first strike and death touch. Level 1 to 2, it has death touch only. Creepy looking broad in the forest. Get the Pyromancer. Another little lizard. Makes me think of those. There was a show about giant lizards. <laughs> Gravity well. One and two green. Whenever a creature with flying attacks, it loses flying till end of turn. Very cool. So it makes flying kind of useless. Oh, nice. Got myself a mythic rare. Vengevine. I've heard of this one. Two and two green with haste. It's a four, three. Whenever you cast a spell, if it's the second creature spell you've cast this turn, you return Vengevine to the battlefield. From your graveyard to the battlefield. So pretty much it can recur from your graveyard to the battlefield if you cast two creature spells. And it has haste, so it can attack right away for four. Powerful card right there. Nice little collection, honestly. Mirfolk Sky Scout. Two and two blue. It's a two three. When it attacks or blocks, untap target permanent. Beautiful forest. Zealous um, Persecution. White and a black. Instant until end of turn. Creatures you control. Get plus one, plus one. And your opponent gets negative one, negative one. Help you get in the damage. It's an uncommon offering to Asha. To a white and a blue. Counter target spell. This controller plays four life. You gain four life. I mean, place four and you gain four life. The gold is just coming out from this dragon. Fire wild. Border post. One, a red and a green. Pay one. Return basic land you control to its owner's hand rather than play its mana cost. Okay. Comes into play. Tapped. Add red or green to your mana pool. <laughs> Alternate mana cost. Got a perimeter captain. Beautiful Island, Lava Fume Invoker, Sangrit Backlash, Tuk Tuk Grunts, Hand of Immacrel again, another one of those, Joker Bard, is some little rule tip for Eldrazi, the Planeswalker Poison Counter thing from a pack, another little pack thing, another little pack thing, and another one with an Eldrazi Sky and Token on it. Another little insert card, some more insert cards. Random um, Maggot Carriers from 8th edition. I'll just set that up here. Yeah. Soulbound Guardians, Defender and Flying. Got Thought Gorger, 2 and 2 Black Trample. Uh, it's a horror, it's a 2 2. When it enters the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on it for each card in your hand. If you do, discard your hand. When it leaves a battlefield, draw a card for each 1 1 counter on it. Okay. 
So it can become powerful by your hand, but you gotta discard it, but maybe you wanna fill up your graveyard. And then you can, when it dies, you draw that many, okay. Zulpin Enforcer. Actually, these, uh, I meant to put this in the mythic pile. There we go. Uh, Eel Umbra. McKinney Griffin. Aura Finesse. I thought there was a bunch of foils in here. I could be wrong. Rest for Weary. The picture definitely had foils. Let's see. Feral Contest. Rolling Terrain. Charcoal Diamond from Mirage. Two mana. Comes into play tapped and has tap add black to your mana pool pays as a mana source. So it's pretty much an artifact that can make black mana. Oh wow, this is an Italian card. Uh, something the meek, I think. I think destroy all creatures less than four or something. Um, two and a white, some Italian visions. Would you look at that? Set that up there. Urborg Panther from Mirage. Got Soul Shepherd from Weatherlight. One and a white. Uh, summon Clerk. It's a 2 1, and you can pay white. Return creature card in your graveyard from the game. Gain a life. Okay, so you can gain some life and remove some creatures from your graveyard. Some Weatherlight. Got a Ebone Charm. Uh, one black mana. It's an instant. Choose one target opponent, loses one life, or you gain a life. And you gain life or remove up the game three cards in the player's graveyard or target creature. Cannot be blocked. This turn is set by black or artifact or black creatures. So some value for it. A couple things. Lose a life, gain a life, uh, remove three cards from the graveyard, or make a creature have fear. Mirage. Induced Despair. Oh, nice. Got myself a Kozilek Butcher of Truth. Ten mana. It's a legendary creature, Eldrazi. It's a 12-12. That thing is a beast. When you cast it, you draw four cards. It has Annihilator 4, so when this creature attacks, defending player sacrifices four permanents. That's going to clear the board real quick. When it's put into a graveyard from anywhere, its owner shuffles it into his or her uh, graveyard into his or her library. Okay, when it's put into a graveyard from anywhere, its owner shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library. So that's very powerful. Very powerful by Michael Kumar. Wow, what a great card right there. Wow. Uh, got a border post again. This is becoming a great little collection. Played it. Uh, sea Strider. Oop. Golden Mirror. Uh, Fervor. Another Skywatch Adept. I think that's the fourth one of those I've gotten. Kozlex Predator. We got Kozlex himself. Hand the Mackerel again. Got three of those ones. Wild Heart Invoker. A Reinforced Bulwark again. Borderland Ranger. Ruthless Cold Blade. Cool purple background. And then the last little pile of cards right here. Got Carrion Worm. Three and two black. It's a 6 5. Zombie. Look at that art by Glenn Ingus. Fantastic. Can't even tell what's going on. Looks like some something from Tremors. When it attacks or blocks, any player remove three cards and hit your grave from the game. It does, does deal, deals no combat damage. Five mana for a 6 5. Pretty powerful. But there's a way to stop it. This doesn't. This one goes here. Got Crystal Shard. From a Morden, three mana, three tap, uh, or blue tap, return target creature to the owner's hand, let's control the plays one. Okay. Lantern of Insight. This is a pretty good uncommon right here. Lantern of Insight, one mana. Each player plays with the top card of his or her library revealed. Tap, sacrifice, Lantern of Insight, target player shuffle his or her library. Very powerful. It's like a lantern with a bunch of eyeballs by Tom Hildebrandt. I'm going to actually set this one up right there. Cloak of Omens, 4 mana. Tap 2 untapped artifacts you control. Untap target artifact. Hmm. Artifact. Tap 2 untapped artifact control. Okay, so you can trade 2 tapping for 1 untap. Alex, look at that guy. Cool looking obelisk and this tiny little guy in the corner right there. Synod. Uh, Centurion, 4 mana. When, uh, when you control no other effects, uh, sacrifice it. It's a 4-4. Four, four. Ogre Sentry. Stalwart Shield Bears, Barriers, Spider Umbra, uh, the Spy Patrol, one in a blue. Looks like they're underwater. It's a 1-1 one, that one comes into the battlefield. You can level up for two in a blue. And then at the end of it, you can go 3-3 three, three with Shroud and is unblockable. You got that one before. Oh, nice. Inquisition of Kozla. Great discard spell right here. It's a sorcery for black mana. Just one. Target player reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-line card from it. With converted mana cost three or less, that player discards a card. Great card right there. Let's set that right there. Uh, guard Gomaza. And it looks like we did get the foils. I think the last ones are probably the foils. Ronk's Meditation. Or Medent. Got Child of Alar. This is the one I saw in the picture. Uh, white, blue, black, red, and green. Trample. Uh, legendary creature Avatar. It's a 6-6 six, six mythic rare. When Child of Alar is put into a graveyard from play, destroy all non-land permanents. Uh, they can't be regenerated. So when it dies or it's put into a graveyard from play, this thing just wipes 
All nine life permanents. Powerful. Set that right there. Fairy Mechanist. Shield of Righteousness. Beautiful. Got World at War. We actually had this one in the rare, but this is a foil version. Very nice to see that. Angel Song. Spell Snip. Two and a blue. Counter target spell unless the controller pays one and has cycling. Got Welkin Guide. Uh, another foil rare. Comma Pit Fighter. Four and two red. Haste. I'm not sure what this is. There's a little 15 symbol down there. Uh, tap. Deals three damage to target creature player. It's a 6 1 with haste. Wow. Set that there. A beautiful swamp. Love these four swamps. Mark Tendon. Fiery Fall. Beautiful mountain. A dead shot minotaur. Gift of the Gargantuan. Cool art by Jean Sebastian Roseback. Skeleton Eyes. We had that one earlier. Sigil of the Niagara. Some of these are really Pringle chips. Term, uh, just like completely. Just like Got Terminate. This is a pretty good card right here. Black and a red. Destroy target creature. Can't be regenerated. Two mana. Destroy creature. Can't be regenerated. Looks like another rare. Turn Timber Ranger. Three and two green. One enters the battlefield. Another ally enters the battlefield under your control. Put a 2-2 green wolf creature token on the battlefield. If you do, put a 1-1 counter on it. Wow, that's cool. This makes a bunch of wolves. The lone wolf dies alone. So 2-2. Two, two, and wow, we just make a whole bunch of wolves. Got Naya Charm. Uh, Nakatal Savage. And then Call to Heal. This one is super bent like a Pringle chip. Crazy. Interesting little collection right here. Kind of cards from a bunch of sets. A lot of stuff from Rise of the Eldrazi. Got a nice little pile of commons. Nice little pile of uncommons. Lots of these kind of leveling up cards. Really nice to see that. Some older cards as well. Something all the way back from like some Mirage cards. Some Weatherlight. A couple of Mirage. Some Stronghold even. And Tempest and Visions in the 5th edition. Nice little Eldrazi's in here as well. Got some big old Eldrazi's. Got a play set of Hand of a Macro. How cool is that? Omog's Crusher. Two Lightning Bolts. A nice little pile of, uh, what is this, Mythics? No, yeah, this is Rares. Thought Gorger, Gudra's Assassin, Sphinx of Magosai, Deathless Angel, Wild Ricochet, uh, Ricochet, World at War. I actually got a foil one of those. Uh, beautiful Stormforce Mystic, Amulet of Vigor, great card as well. Necrotic Ooze, Kazulu Warlord, Mir Reservoir, Avon Mimomancer. Very nice. And I got a nice little selection of Mythics as well. I'm actually got the foil cards in there. Keep those there. Got a nice Venge Vine, Abyssal Prosecutor, Kragen Dragon Lord, and Kozilek Butcher of Truth. Fantastic. And again, we'll just go through the foils, even though I did a second ago. Timberland Ranger, uh, the Pit Fighter, Woe That War, Child of Valar, Call the Heal, just a nice other foils. Terminate, Skeletonize, Gift of Gargantuan, a beautiful mountain, and a swamp. Uh, Welkin Guide, Spell Snip. Shield of Righteousness, uh, Skeleton Eyes, just really cool. And some cool uncommons as well. Got Lantern of Insight, Inquisition of Kozilek. Awesome little collection right here. Um, yeah, just so much fun to open this up and check about you all. I hope you enjoy these type of things. Let me know if you like to see these things or you'd like to see more. Uh, and I'll just say, I hope you're all doing wonderful day. I hope you're doing safe. Just want to say, uh, keep on keeping on, and I'll catch you on the next one. And have a beautiful, wonderful day.